Hello everyone, it's Katerina on Katerin Factory and today I want to show you how to lengthen kids keep hands and save money for this season, especially when you have two kids or more. You can buy new ski pants for your child, but when you have two kids or more, maybe you should think to save money. And today I want to show you how to do so. This snow suit it fits my daughter perfect, it's waterproof, it's warm, it's cover her back and I want to save it. Let's do it! Step number one, let's open the original hem. Looks like we can get like inch out of the hem, but it's still not enough. Also remove the elastic from the lining. And after that you will have three layers of fabric. So the main fabric, which is waterproof, thin lining with elastic, and padded winter lining that gives the pants the main warmth. I got this blush peach color at the Joanne store and the only options I had it. If you could find something maybe gray, black, it will work for your pants as well. Also you can find something to match your jacket and nobody will notice at all. I'm checking if the fabric is actually waterproof, so I spilled the water and it's uh, perfectly soft and nothing didn't go through the other side, so I'm comfortable with this fabric, I'm so happy to get it from Joanne's fabric. Let's go back to work and step number two, I'm gonna flatter in this steam allowance with iron. Be very careful with a regular iron, the waterproof fabric could burn easily with a regular iron. I'm going to add the fabric to the hem, but you don't have to copy what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of making design and uh, making angle on the hem of the pants. You don't have to do this. You just could cut straight rectangle, depends on the width of your pants. But my design will look absolutely perfect, you will see at the end. For those who would like to make something similar to that, I didn't have any specific measurements on that, I did by eye. In the front I cut the little triangle a little smaller and the back a little bit longer, that's what I did. Then I copied that triangle on the other leg. I'm going to cut rectangle on the pants of the width of your pants. The length of that rectangle it also depends on how many inches you would like to add. I'm gonna cut a little bit extra and then I will make a fitting to my daughter. And there is two rectangles for both legs. You don't have to do any complications, you could add just a rectangle to the hem. I don't like easy way, so I'm going ahead and I will cut that angle, triangle, whatever you can call that, and make it this kind of design. Because the triangles in the front of the pants and the back of the pants are different, so I'm cutting them separately. So I'm making sure that that design will be a nice matching, like a puzzle, and will be in future laying nice and flat. Copying the other rectangle. Finally, I'm going to add that piece to the bottom of my main fabric hem.
I love top stitching and it gives an extra beautiful look to the garment. This cool design will be at the end, but before that I have to measure my daughter's length to make sure that it won't be too long or too short. I want to show you such a cool trick inside the pants. When you turn it inside out, you will see the stitch on the lining. Every good brand that design kids snow pants, they all making that folds inside the lining purposely. And the purpose of that to lengthen the snow pants. It's very easy to remove and your lining is getting a little longer. What a cool trick! Check it on your kids' pants. Okay, let's go back to sewing and step number three. After the fitting, now I know exactly the length that I needed. I'm gonna hem the length of the pants with the pins and I will copy the other leg. we have to add that soft quilting pattern to the end of the hem but the, I have to do it is uh, necessary to make it and keep the pants warm so the all you need to do it's a padding fabric I have a cotton you can get a polyester take my previous uh, waterproof fabric put it on top each other and uh, make a stitch with the overlock or any other regular stitch or you can get something similar to this fabric at the store already pre-made but I had this soft cotton fabric from previous project and uh, I saved a lot of money by buying just waterproof fabric and I'm so happy I got a yard of this fabric and it was enough for two pants step number five and we almost done I'm going to add this winter lining to the bottom so I'm measuring this winter lining to the width of the pants. To make sure that the width is good, I'm going to put a stitch on the side. After you finish sewing the sides, you have to turn this inside out and to sew two winter linings together. To avoid extra thickness, I'm gonna put one lining on top of each other and put it top stitch. I put that piece close to the edge of the hem. Just like this, I'm putting pins all the way around the lining. Then I'm gonna put top stitch. The hardest part is over, now the easiest part to create a hem of the pants. So the lining will go inside the hem and it's cool, nothing else you need to do. Pin, measure, sew it. And the final step, I need to add 2-3 inches to the lining where the elastic was before. Thank you. 
Then you need to add the elastic back and it's done. The elastic has a special rubber so it'll be hard for me to sew with a regular foot so I'm going to su switch to the um, one side foot and we'll do top stitch. Then you switch to regular foot and make a stitch from inside the lining. It will be easy and super fast. It came out so beautiful, I saved a lot of money by lengthening two pair of uh, winter snow pants. Thank you guys for watching, I will have a lot of creative videos in the future, please subscribe and thumbs up!